All right. Hey, today what I want to do is talk to you about Koala Writer. Now, Koala Writer is one of my favorite AI writers. I have a couple that I use, and Koala Writer is one of them. And so uh, if you are already a user of Koala Writer, you could tell from the thumbnail for this video, they're having a Black Friday sale. So uh, what I want to do is first take people that don't know Koala Writer and show them how easy it is to create really high quality long form content. And then I'll finish up by showing you uh, what Koala Writer has on sale for Black Friday and the different packages that they have. So if you are already a Koala Writer user, you're sold on Koala Writer and you just want to uh, see the packages that they are offering right now on their Black Friday sale, you can go ahead and forward toward to the end of the video where uh, I share that information. Now to be perfectly transparent, uh, I have a subscription to Koala Writer myself, but I am an affiliate. So if you do make a purchase, I will make a commission. So to uh, begin writing in Koala Writer, you do need a keyword. And so I'm going to go out to Low Fruits. Low Fruits is a tool that I really like. Uh, and so I'm going to choose this particular keyword. It's a long tail keyword is camping alone safe. And I'm going to copy that and we'll use that for this article. So we'll go back to Koala Writer. And obviously there are lots of things that you can do in Koala Writer, but the primary thing you're going to do is write long form content. So in this case, you have a choice when you start a writing project. You can write in GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Uh, the one thing you want to be aware of is GPT-4 articles do use uh, more word count. So in this case, uh, just for this example, let's just do a GPT-3.5 article. Um, we're going to do a blog post, although if you're not familiar with Koala Writer at all, you can also rewrite blog posts. You can take a YouTube video URL and convert it to a blog post. You can do an Amazon product review or an Amazon product roundup. So let's continue with our blog posts. So the first thing we do is we're going to insert our keyword here. Is camping alone safe? And so the next thing that you need to do is uh, in the SEO optimization section, you have a few choices here. Uh, you can go with default. The default setting, I typically don't do that. I typically choose AI powered. Um, now, the other thing that you can do, uh, I won't do it with this particular article, but you can manually put in your own keywords. So if you're using uh, maybe chat, uh, GPT-4 or maybe Claude, uh, and you're extracting LSI keywords that way, or maybe you have Surfer SEO, or you have Neuron Writer, uh, you can grab uh, keywords from those tools and drop them in and use them for the article if you want to do that. So in this case, let's just go with AI powered. Now, the next thing that you need to do is uh, let Koala Writer know if you need images or YouTube videos. So you can choose none if you want to create your own images in another AI image generation tool or if you have stock photos already. Um, you can choose auto. And choosing if you choose auto, it'll automatically put in images for you. Uh, you can pick the image style. You can pick the image size. You can pick the max number of images and the max number of videos. Um, that's an automatic. Now, if you just purely want images only, you can do that. If you just want videos only, you can do that as well. Typically what I'll do is pick auto. Uh, from the standpoint of an image style, uh, you can do photo quality if you want. Uh, I like illustrations. Uh, I'm going to just choose illustrations for this article. And from a 
image size standpoint, um, I typically will pick something like the 1536 by 640, keep them a little smaller. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a max images of, uh, let's do five. And let's just do, let's do two videos max on this. So then the next thing you need to do is pick an article length. And if you choose default, the AI will choose how comprehensive of the article should be. Uh, you know, if you want a shorter or longer article, you can certainly choose that. You're, choose that here as well. Um, for this particular article, I'm going to go ahead and go with a medium size article. Well, let's go long form. Let's see what it pulls up for us or puts together for us with a long form article. So we'll choose that. Now, tone of voice, you have a variety of, of different voices you can use. I typically just use the SEO optimized one for my articles. Uh, English language, you have other options, obviously, quite a few to choose from. We'll stick with English. Same thing if you're targeting a country, uh, that's, you can do that as well. I'm going to target United States. I like to write articles in the first person point of view, so we'll ch choose first person. So now we have some other decisions to make here. If you want to use real-time search results, you can do that. It'll go out and fetch search results for each section uh, that are more real-time. And I'm going to choose that and just do the default real-time source filtering. In this case, I'm not going to cite any sources. I'm going to leave that off. Now, I always like to use the outline editor. I like to see the outline that um, Koala Writer is putting together for me in case I want to make some adjustments. And I'll show you why it's a good idea to use outline editor. Um, it opens up some other features for you. So I'm going to turn that on. You can add an FAQ section. I think for this kind of article, an FAQ section is good. Um, so once you've done this, you can create your outline. All right, so here's our outline. You can uh, briefly look through this with me. Uh, understanding solo camping, preparation and precautions, safety measures, um, frequently asked questions. It's, it's just got a lot of good detail in here. So the one thing to be aware of is with these H2 headings, you can go in and you can do some additional prompting for the content. So for this essential camping gear heading, what I would uh, add to this is something like this. So I asked it to create a table of gear for solo camping and its importance. Now you can add additional keywords in here. So if there's other gear in here you think is important, you could put that in. I'm going to just leave it at default for now. You can also add additional URLs to link to if you want to. You can add up to five. And then you can also add some additional background information. So basically when you add some background information, that gets used to help write factual content for the section. So we're going to go ahead and just save that. And just realize you could go in and prompt every one of these sections with extra keywords, with extra instructions. Uh, for the sake of this video, uh, to keep it going a little faster, I'm not going to do that. So we've went ahead, we've, uh, we're going to go with the default outline that it's given us. I'm going to, I prompted one of the H2s, that's good, so let's write the article. All right, the article is complete. You can see here in the top right-hand corner, your word count is 3,118 words. Let's go ahead and just briefly go through this. Remember when I asked it to create images, I asked for illustrations rather than photos. I could have chosen photos if I wanted to. Um, it's got a nice, quick introduction with some follow-on after the image. 
And then this is the YouTube video, Solo Camping Fears. It talks about the solo camping. It gives you another video um, about camping locations, safety, wilderness experience, research. Another AI image for essential camping gear. If you remember where I prompted the uh, H2 for essential camping gear, I said, please make this table. And here it, it listed all the gear and listed the importance just like I asked it to do. Food and water management, additional safety measures, nice bulleted list about building and managing fires. And then at the end here, we have these frequently asked questions. So the one thing I want to do is let's copy this. I want to drop it into Hemingway. I want to see how readable is this article because I think readability is important. And I typically get pretty decent readability scores from my Koala Writer articles, which is one reason why I like the tool so much. So we're going to drop it in. And this is just what I was hoping for. Grade 8 readability uh, gets a good ranking. And so this means when somebody comes to read this blog post, it's just going to be easy for them to digest the content, uh, find what they need with, a, with the headings. Um, and a more readable article means more user engagement, longer time on your site, more chance to convert them or to show them more uh, ads if you, if you have an ad-driven site. Uh, but the bottom line is um, the readability on these Koala Writer articles is quite good. So we've seen what Koala Writer can do. We can see how easy it is to write an article, a long-form article. It's, it also creates these articles quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the Black Friday sale because that's what you're wondering. How, how much is this going to cost me, right? Now, there's a lot of detail in this Black Friday sale. So you're going to want to go to my link and uh, click on that. Go out to Koala Writer and read through this information. And then here, here's what you're getting into with these credit packs. So at $95, you get 250,000 words in that particular credit pack. They have a silver credit pack with a million words. They have a gold credit pack, which they're highlighting here as sort of their best value uh, with 2,500,000 words. Um, and I'll get, get into how long you have to use these credit packs here in a second. Uh, so if you're really pumping out the content, you can get a 5 million, 10 million, 15 million word pack if you want to. And if you have a whole team of people you're working with, uh, you might get into one of these premium, advanced, or ultimate credit packs. So from a frequently asked question standpoint, it's you want to go in and read this, but your credit packs on the page expire after one year. If you have a monthly subscription, your words expire after a month. So if you don't use up all your words, they don't roll over in a monthly subscription. So anyway, these credit packs are for a full year. You can stack them if you want to. Some people may already have the LTD or a monthly subscription. Um, the credit packs stack with, the, with a subscription or an LTD. First, the subscription or LTD credits get used, then the credit pack, pack uh, credits uh, start getting used. Um, they do mention GPT-4 Turbo. That's going to get added here in the next two to five weeks is what they, what they expect. You know, they just had the open AI dev day and talked a lot about GPT-4 Turbo. So, you know, all of the developers are, are lining up to get a hold of that API and start using that. So, so uh, Koala Writer expects to offer that in two to five weeks. So again, um, the typical credit packs most people would buy would be a basic, a silver, or a gold. But follow my link, go in, check that out. 
So hopefully you found this video informative. If you're already a Koala Writer user, uh, check out the Black Friday sale. If you're not and you've been interested in using Koala Writer, this is a great opportunity to get in and uh, get a bunch of words that you can use and write a lot of great articles for a lesser expensive price during uh, this particular sale. So until next time, take care.